and they don't want to see anything in the change, none of the projections they're putting into it, they don't want any of it to change. If it did, it just cracks their whole matrix. It's like the dream shatters. It's like when the girl touched the glass, the whole painted glass, and then she's walking on the street. That's that's like how simple you know, it is to change that dream. You know, Bhaktivedanta Swami said something that he felt was very, very important to do super exact because we pull, people will go see the movie and they'll say, well, that was pretty good, and they'll go on. It, it, it makes things cheap because it is too Hollywoodized. Uh -huh. We want to use an expression okay, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of that, he had a lot of people who were into joining his thing that were filmmakers. Uh -huh. And good filmmakers too. Yeah, yeah. And he said, "Don't do it because people will take it cheaply. They'll see it. Oh, what's good? Okay, what's next? Mahabra. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, it may be that now the times have changed, and uh, it might be more, uh, a uh, maybe a little bit more uh, timely. Right? Timely to do what? to make movies that are right now showing a um, an alternative to this reality that makes sense yeah. for all for yeah. all to be exposed to yeah, yeah that's a common you know, theme more it's choice. alternate re universe in the 70s yeah, more choices in, in the all 70s, of these movies in the 70s Don Juan came out and with Castaneda and that's what those books represent they change it the, if you read all of the Castaneda books, I only have it would one crack from you. your reality you. uh, more like than you can comprehend. Move into number two. But to me, the way the universe functions is that it just ex keeps expressing itself through art. Castaneda's <coughs> books is a literature where art, this is a, <coughs> this is a form of art that takes the, the viewer, the person experiencing the book <coughs> or the movie or the painting or whatever, the song, <coughs> to another place that they don't recognize. And it's being in the other place that you don't recognize. Because that's the whole thing. We all think we're awake. We're not awake. You can't get to a place right now that you don't recognize. You can't do it. And you're not awake until you can. So you can get to a place that you don't recognize. You can stand in a place and go, I have no idea what dream I'm in. How did I get in this dream? Let's then go, you are awake. Drink something. I got something funky in there. See, that's the difference that they mean about sleep and awake. This is <coughs> sleep. It's the night of the living dead. That's if you want to be, you know. I, I mean, it, it is because now we've turned this this dream into a nightmare, and we're destroying the dream by putting pollutions everywhere. Oops, sorry, pollutions everywhere, and uh, it's it's all. Bullshit. We're getting the kick. But see, that's the not kick. that's it's not, shaking it up. But that's not our dream. Shake. We're not in that dream. <clears throat> Those are projections of somebody else's dream. <coughs> I have to drink something. Right okay, now. where do you want to go, Andre? Okay, focus.